Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day one of the 2021 Deer Vlog. If you're new to the channel, my name's Eric, and in this vlog, we film all of our deer hunting. I hunt three to four nights a week, which means trying to balance a work life. I'm a father and I'm a husband, pretty much just like most of you guys are. And with being a father come certain responsibilities, and with being a husband come certain responsibilities. But I'm blessed and lucky enough that I'm able to get out after work three, four times a week, depending on how things play out, which I'm sure many of you go through. And in this deer vlog, you're not gonna see probably any brand deals. Never been offered one. Don't really care. This is like Ricky Bobby when he was racing and it was the car that said just me. That's pretty much what this deer vlog's like. If you guys could please leave a like, comment, let me know if you guys have been out yet. And if you have been out, let me know what you got or let me know what you're seeing. Today, we're hunting the old nursery property. It's one of three properties I have that I can hunt that's private. We do do some public land hunting. It's just not my favorite thing in the world to do. So right now, I'm sitting in a sawtooth oak grove. There's about seven or eight sawtooth oak trees in here. I don't know if they're dropping yet. I don't know if they even have any acorns. But the years that they do, it's, it's bonkers in here in the early season, which is why I came here. It's supposed to be 84 degrees today. It's already humid. The mosquitoes are already out. I'm in the stand where I shot my buck out of last year, which I'll leave up here for you guys to check out if you haven't already. I'm gonna quit jabbering. Hopefully we see some deer this morning. So it's going on about 7 o'clock. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys can hear the blue jays are going nuts over in the bedding area. Typically, blue jays will heckle deer. So a lot of the time, when I hear blue jays heckling stuff, I tend to think it's a deer. It could just be a deer going into bed for the day. I'm only about 75 to 100 yards away from where they bed. say I'm pleasantly surprised. I was kind of not thinking anything was going to happen. I'm glad we got to see something. Good little button bug. I don't know if that other deer was mama or sister. I don't know. But way out of range so it doesn't really matter. And it's going to be 84 today. I'm going to work on getting down. I have a cellular camera. I want to go hang up really close to the bedding area over here just to see like what's coming in and out of there. I'm going to take you guys with me to hang this camera. And then we're going to come back probably here this afternoon. The problem with my other hunting spot right now is I have to walk through a cornfield to get to my tree stand. The deer are in the corn. I have to walk through the deer to get to the tree stand. It kind of sucks. So I don't want to have to go make a whole bunch of commotion in there. Unless I have to. Unless we start 
get big buck on camera, which hasn't happened. All right, I got my camera set up here. It's overlooking. There's a trail that goes right through here. This is all bedding in here. So, I'm gonna close this thing up. Let it do its thing. I'll see you guys later this afternoon. That's a good sign, I guess. We already seen it here. And I did, I jumped 